so much for being here. Welcome. Welcome to FYI Guy Live. I am your FYI Guy, Jeremy Ray. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, now, today's show is all about kids' decor. And usually I dress to fit the theme of the show, but I did not know what to wear for a kids' decor show. So I just decided to dress really cute. <laughs> And I tied this bow tie all, all by myself. It's not a clip-on, I promise. This is tied. I tied it. I spent hours in front of the mirror just tying it. And let me tell you, I'm so glad this sweet little girl, what's your name? Uh, Lauren. Lauren is here because this show is perfect for people her age or younger because all of these are fantastic ideas. Let me tell you, when you grow up poor, you really don't have the really best decorated room on the block. And when you go to your friend's house and they have everything in their bedroom and it looks so professionally decorated. Now, when I grew up, wallpaper was really in. And all the kids had the really cool basketball wallpaper. And I was like, oh, we didn't have that. So this is all about making something for your kids that maybe they can pass on to their kids. It's all about keeping it going and having something they can cherish long into the future. In fact, we're going to start with a really fun project that I can't even pronounce. So let's get started. I really wanted something that's really cute that you can hang over your baby's crib that maybe can transition into a light fixture. So I'm calling this the hipster mobile. <laughs> now, for those of you of a certain generation who have no idea what a hipster is, congratulations. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding to all the hipsters watching. I'm just kidding. So I went to the craft store, and do you know what these are? The embroidery rings, I, yeah, I tried cross-stitching once, yeah, but I got so bored because I liked that instant gratification. I wanted it to be done, and that took so long. Well, I went and got three sizes of these, and, of course, my burlap ribbon. Hello, I can't do a project without it. So here's what's really fun. Take the inner ring, and I'm not even using glue on this. I'm just going to wrap it around the hoop, just like this, and I'm going to cut it off. And the best part is, is you can adjust this if it falls off. And then, once you've got it around there, take the outer ring and just place it right around. And no glue required. And guess what? That means I don't burn myself. <laughs> That's even better. Now, I did do this in the workshop really well. And now you're going to watch me really mess it up right on TV. Look at this. OK, basically, here's what you get. When you have time to sit and do it, I promise it will look good. We're going to do three different layers. We're going to do a green chevron to a pink polka dot to a blue chevron. Because you know I have to throw chevron in. I know you people are probably sick of me talking about chevron. But I'm going to keep preaching chevron until it is completely out of style. That's what I'm going to do. Now, here's what's really fun. Maybe mom or grandma has a lot of costume jewelry that you have. And maybe you don't really want to wear it anymore. But guess what? You can put it on our new hipster mobile. OK, now we're going to glue them with hot glue and with a little bit of super glue. Now, you do not want this falling off in the baby's crib. You've got to make sure this is secure. That's why I'm using the super glue with the hot glue. And you're going to glue everything kind of on the inner wooden ring. Do you see how I'm doing that? All the way around. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time to dry. But the fun part is, you know how I like more is more? You can keep adding as many jewels and brooches, and buttons, and rhinestones as you want. Make it everything. Maybe you have something from a vacation that has a special memory. You know what? This is going to take forever. Can I just show you when I finished? Yeah. Do you want to see when I finished? Yeah. Look how cute. Yeah. How cute that is. This is what's so fun about this project. Literally, you can take your buttons and glue them on anywhere you want. Keep adding. You could be literally as tacky as you want to be. <laughs> I'm not trying to say hipsters are tacky, but maybe I am. <laughs> you keep adding on as much as you want. Now, the reason I like this, it kind of looks vintage, kind of looks a little antique. That's why I like to call it hipster, because there's, there's so much eclecticity to this. Is that a word, eclecticity? It is now. Thank you. <laughs> Making up words on FYI Guy Live. And I really think this would be great to transition as a chandelier in your room. You can buy the kit and put the bulb in it. It would be a great chandelier. So I hope this inspires you 
to either cross stitch or make a mobile. How about that? I love it. I do love it. When we come back, I'm gonna ask you this question. What does a wood pallet, a broom handle, and plastic animals have in common? Well, you'll find out when we come back. Come back! randomly picked an audience member to help me with the, today's project. This is, tell me your name. Cheryl. Cheryl. Now, Cheryl, we picked you, obviously, because you must have small kids. Uh, no. No. You're not. Any grandkids? Uh, no. <laughs> Any nephews or nieces? Um, yes, a few. Any of them, maybe seven and under? Yes. Okay, good, finally! I knew we'd get there somewhere, Cheryl. Some way we're going to make a project for one of those kids in your family. There but even not, but guess what? This is great practice for the future. That's right. Grandkids, okay? That's, that's now, awesome. today's project, we're incorporating this piece of pallet wood. Have okay. you seen all those projects on Pinterest from yes. pallet wood? Yes. It is amazing. The things mm -hmm. you can do with pallets. Mm -hmm. We're making a very simple project. As you can tell, the studio's not big enough for me to make the huge chaise lounge made out of pallets. Have you seen that one? Which I love. I like that one. The swing. The swing. And the swing. Yeah. Oh, Cheryl. Yeah, that's yeah. She's a Pinterest girl, I can tell. <laughs> now, yes, we're going to use this broomstick, pallet wood, and kids' toys to make a really cool child's coat rack or backpack rack. Okay? So, Cheryl, okay. here's what I need you to do. Okay. I need you to paint this board blue okay. right there but it has to be done and dry by the time I'm done with this, okay? Get to work! <laughs> okay, good, you're doing good. Okay, and while Cheryl's painting the pallet board, I, as an adult, am beginning using a box knife. Now, this is sharp and scary. Do not let the kids do this. She's working really fast, I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> you're going to cut the animal in half. It's plastic! It's okay. It's okay, baby. I had no idea this segment was going to cause so much strife. <laughs> Cut it in half with the box. Now, I tried to find animals that were solid. I cannot find them anywhere. I thought in the olden days they made animals that were solid. They're all hollow now. And this went much better in rehearsal, but... Don't, don't worry, I, I'm a pro, as I slice off my finger. <laughs> Are you already done painting that board? Do you want the sides too? I do want the sides done. Okay. I need you to kill some more time. <laughs> Alrighty. Cut this in half. Oh, look at the, oh, there, we did it. Oh, wait, maybe. This is okay. really cute. I already Okay, hold on, it. there you go. Okay. You gonna use that in too? It's in half. Get, oh, Cheryl, can you ask that question one more time? I can use that in too. I actually am. <laughs> I'm gonna set this aside for the next project in the next segment, which I won't tell you what it is yet. But we're gonna use the little lion's head. Now, I found that I liked to, you better start blowing on that to make sure it's dry. <laughs> I found that spray painting these uh, a, a same color, so this is dark blue. I'm gonna paint these a light blue, and look what I get. Look how cute these are in this light blue. How good that would be for a little boy's room. I'm ready for my board. Hey, hey, Cheryl, yeah, do you want this hey, hammer? Because hey. we nailed it. We did. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm just kidding, I already have one done. Okay. Look, I rushed you for nothing. I rushed you for nothing. I know, I'm sorry, Cheryl. Now, I took the broom and I cut them off because these are hollow animals. I cut them off so that each animal would fit on their prospective broom handle. Now, if this is uh, not something that you want to do or you think it's too difficult, uh, you can also fill it with liquid nails. Thank you so much for helping me. And you want to screw this right in place, like that. Oh, I don't think I hit. I pre-drilled the oh. always pro Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> do we have insurance? <laughs> Are we good? Cheryl, just, okay, there we go. Okay, you get the idea. Now. Now, I put here, see if you can guess which animal goes to which. 
L for lion, put oh. that right on, E for elephant, D for dinosaur, mm -hmm. and that, that's supposed oh, to be a Z. Z for zebra. There you go. Like okay, got it. I was like, in? No, <laughs> there's not an animal. No, there we go. That's now, so look, I have a finished one right here. Aww. Look how cute that is. Now, Cheryl, hold this one. Oh, so sorry. What I did, I just want you to know, what I did is I filled the animal with liquid nails and I set it on and let it dry overnight. That liquid nails really attaches. Then I said, what if there's a little boy who wants something scary and there's a dinosaur one? <laughs> Are you scared? Look. Stampede! <laughs> <laughs> Look how fun this is. Now, if I gave you one of these, would you use it for one of your nephews or nieces, or could you save it in the attic for one of your future grandchildren? I would use it for my kitchen towels. For your kit, you would hang it in your kitchen? Wouldn't that just be cute? That would, Cheryl, you can have them both then. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so excited. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a feeling Cheryl and I are now best friends. And can you invite me over to your kitchen so I can look at it? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Hey, when we come back, guess what? We're using a project with animal fannies. <laughs> come back. I told you I don't like to waste anything. So in the last segment, guess what? We used the heads of the animals. Now it's time to use their fannies. <laughs> I'm trying to be polite, okay? <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hindquarters, if you will, and we're gonna make really cool refrigerator magnets with the little face. So here's what I found. You know what, I was, I was experimenting with this and I tried to fill the entire thing with hot glue. It took a lot of hot glue and it was so heavy, it wouldn't, magnet, it wouldn't get on the refrigerator, it just fell off. So I got a coffee filter, and I'm stuffing, I put hot glue, stuff it with a coffee filter, then put a little hot glue right on top of it, and then, and again, it will take a little bit of hot glue, and, but again, this is so much more inexpensive than buying those refrigerator magnets, and you can give these as gifts, maybe to people you don't care for. <laughs> I'm just saying. Merry Christmas! <laughs> then look, I just set that magnet right on in there and I've got to show you this finished product. Here, I've got my cookie sheet magnet. It'll really help you second guess going back to the refrigerator for seconds, let me tell you. <laughs> I, did do, I did want to do a head because I found a cute dinosaur, so I did the Tyrannosaurus Rex too. I did his little head. So you can do the hindquarters and the heads if you want. And it's really cute. The kids will love putting their, their artwork on the refrigerator. So that's something fun. But again, I had so much fun with this project, I wanted to keep going. So look at these cute little animals. Get a small drill bit. These came in a pack of like 40 little animals. I'm drilling a tiny, tiny hole right here in the animal. Oh, goodness gracious. Don't, it's okay. Everyone's groaning every time I touch the plastic animal. <laughs> it's okay. Set the candle in it, and then guess what? You have adorable candle holders for your cupcakes. Look how cute that is. Look at the big one. That's a little large for that cupcake. I apologize. <laughs> Look, this dinosaur is like, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> no, but really, that, that's cute, that's cute. You can do that. <laughs> and then I said, why stop there? Look at this adorable turtle. I, I said, I love this turtle, but I need to cut it open. <laughs> I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut a hole right here on the top. And now you can make this hole as big or as small as you want because I said, let's make this into a really cute desk planter. So if you have to sit at your desk all day and you don't have a lot of greenery, Guess what? You can hang, you can do this. Now, I didn't like it the natural color, so I painted it yellow. <laughs> Look how cute that is. 
Don't forget, drill drainage holes in the bottom of the turtle because when you water it, it's going to flood it and it'll die. So make sure you drill drainage holes, set it on your bed of rocks, set that on your desk. That is so cute. And last but not least, do your kids hate brushing their teeth? I have one girl that says, yes, she hates it. Well, guess what? They're going to love brushing their teeth with their brontosaurus toothbrush holder. All you have to do is drill the holes right in the brontosaurus. Set your kid's toothbrush. It's going to be so much fun to brush every morning. And I hope you bought that, because I really didn't buy that. But it's cute. OK, when we come back, I promise you, I have a project that the transformation was so insanely awesome that everybody at the office is fighting over this project. And some of them don't even have kids. So that's how fun it is. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> I was at the thrift store this week, and I found this night. This is the exact nightstand. This is actually in my workshop. And here's the thing about thrift stores. Usually, when you buy something, it's the only one. So I couldn't even go find another nightstand to match this one if I tried, because that's what you get when you go to thrift store. So I took a picture of it and said, now I'm going to transform it. So here's the nightstand before. OK, take it all in. And what's really odd is I actually had this bedroom furniture in high school. I had that Hunter Green. <laughs> I should have kept it. <laughs> OK, are you ready to see what I've turned it into? Yeah. 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 Now, let me, let me explain. Everything you see that I'm going to do to this, I either got at the thrift store or a dollar store. So the total price for this entire project is $20. Wow. And you made it. So first things first, these are the drawers turned end to end that I have screwed down. And guess what? Not only have I screwed it, this faucet also connects down so it's really secure. It ain't going nowhere, OK? Now, I can't work like this. Hold on. You know, sometimes I just got to get comfortable. OK. So the next thing you want to do is take a bowl and drill a hole. And you're going to liquid nails it down because you don't want it falling on the kids. You know, you don't want them picking them up and smashing their fingers. So liquid nails the bowl down. I'm not kidding you. These are two aprons that I found at the thrift store that I just ran the curtain rod right through the top uh, hem. And we're going to hang this right here to cover the little sink area. Look how cute that is. Did you see this in here? By the way, this is just zebra contact paper that I've lined the walls in. And look, a cute little decorative green bowl to keep all the supplies right in there. Then I found this little valance. And here's what's funny. This part right here is the actual hem for the curtain rod. I cut off the valance and kept the top part <laughs> for the valance here. Look how cute that is. <laughs> now, you, my favorite part about designing and decorating is the staging part, because you get to go crazy with all the stuff that you love. And when you put those finishing touches in it, it really makes it. Now, you can tell I painted the back blue and green to make a cute little scenery back there. And I got these little puffy stickers so I could have flowers. How cute is that? And these stickers were a dollar. <laughs> you can't beat it. And of course, what kitchen would we be complete without a Chevron dish rag? <laughs> One dollar. Hang that. Cute little flower pot sitting right on top. You, you have to finish. You can't just go halfway on this. You have to complete the finished look. Look, I have a cute little lantern, less than a dollar, that lights up in case you want a night light in the room. Then, of course, we need all of our baking and, and, and supplies. Look at this. You need, you've got to be able to cook in the kitchen. And guess what? All of these little cute little, look at this little pot. I didn't even know they made them in this size. <laughs> all a dollar, by the way. I mean, and the kids don't know how much it costs, so it's really fun. And last but not least, they have to cook with an apron. <laughs> Let's hang the apron right here. Hang the apron right there. Can you just take a second to look at this and look at this? How cute is that? <laughs> now, I will not lie to you. This took about a full day of work to do. Because again, 
I was making up my mind on color choices. I was, you know, I can't decide something. So I, it took about eight hours to make just because I was deciding. But if you have a vision and you already know what you're going to make, you can make it much quicker. And again, I had a lot of the stuff already or already cost a dollar. So that's the even better part. And I wish that I had somebody in my life that had made me something when I was a kid that I can now pass on because this is the blood, sweat, and tears of your loved one and you're passing on to your kids. There is no better gift. No better gift. It's true. I, I, can dare, I can tell you this. They're not gonna have that iPod in 20 years, but they're gonna have this. I'm telling you, I love handmade gifts and if my, if my five-year-old niece is watching, you might be getting this for Christmas. <laughs> I'm not giving it away. You ain't getting this, just so you know. I'm keeping it. <laughs> I want to thank Cheryl, who helped me with our fantastic Animal Rack project. Now, if you have any ideas or project suggestions or comments, nice comments, only nice comments, please go to FYIGuide.com. Go to our Facebook page and our Twitter page. Leave me messages. I check all of them, and I make it my goal to email you back and comment back because I love to hear your feedback because you are why I'm doing this. This is this is what I love to do, and you are making it possible. So thank you so very much. Hey, till next time, I'm Jeremy Rave, your FYI guy. Keeping it fast, easy.